Hello, friends. We are out camping for Thanksgiving week, and my mother-in-law is going to make, uh, well, tell us what you're going to make. I'm going to make ambrosia. And uh, my mom made this for years when we were growing up, and it was one of my father-in-law's favorite recipes. Mm -hmm. Always had to make a double batch because he would keep, keep it in the refrigerator and eat it for days. But anyway, Clarence would, um, he'd like to, always like leftovers, ambrosia, and it's really good the next day. But after the second day, it starts getting a little watery sometimes. But So, you normally start with um, chunk pineapple, and I accidentally bought crushed, crushed. pineapple. That's okay. It'll taste but, the same. But I think it's going to work out fine. I drained it really well. And then you use a can of um, mandarin oranges. Okay. So, you know what size? Uh, I just used a regular um, can, like a green bean okay. can. Okay. Mm-hmm. But, um, so... We'll have the uh, ingredients and measurements in the description and box. Kind of mix it up, but you got to be careful because you don't want your mandarin oranges to be shredded. You know, you just want to mix mm -hmm. it up a little bit. Oh, I've got to get my sour cream out. I forgot to get it out. There it is. You know, it's like a it's like a um, fruit salad on steroids. <laughs> and then it looks like a small sour cream. And then you put in your marshmallow, two cups of marshmallows, one cup of um, coconut, and then I'm going to drain some maraschino cherries and rinse them because they, if you don't rinse them, they'll stain. Your salad, they'll, they'll look, uh, your salad will be pink. So I'm just going to rinse them off a little bit. And that's the bigger jar. Yeah, you can use however many you want. Some people like them, some people don't. So if they don't like them, they can pick them out. And I just let those drain a minute while I'm mixing this up. And then I put in a cup of pecans, chopped pecans. I've already got, these are already chopped, so. We're making this a couple of hours ahead of time before dinner. Yeah, because it's, it's been, it, you need to let it set at least, i Oh, at least four or five hours, yeah, for your, your, uh. Dinner? Dinner, yeah. Okay, I think these cherries are ready, let me see. Yeah, put them in. I wonder if I should have dried them all. I might dry them off a little bit. Where they won't be so wet. Those are big ones. Yeah. I'll just Those are nice paper size. Kind of pat them dry before I put them in there. Where they won't be wet. There. Then your sour cream, and then you have to fold. I just kind of my, if you put your sour cream out a little bit earlier, it might be easier to mix. I kind of spread it out. I always thought that had Cool Whip in it. No. What, wow. What makes the sauce, the the kind of the dressing in there, is this sour cream melds with those marshmallows. Uh huh. And that's what makes the the sweet sauce in there. You'd never think it's sour no, cream. No, I never would have that. dreamed it was that yeah. all these years. Yep. It's uh, the sour cream and the marshmallows, and probably the sweetness from the coconut. That's it. And then I think I'm gonna get a bigger, like a maybe a uh, yeah, like this. 
our little trailers have all the comforts of home. Yeah, probably <laughs> better. I've got more drawers in my trailer than I got at home. Man. Just real gently. Yeah, because you don't want to mash your uh, your maraschino cherries. It's going to be hard for me to tell because my my uh, pineapple's mushed. Or not mushed, but crushed. You just mix it up. Fold it, really. So room temperature would be yeah, would I think be great. Room temperature would be better for your sour cream. Maybe we could just let it sit for a little while. Yeah, just let it sit a little bit, and then mix it a little bit. And then you put it in the refrigerator and let it sit and. And then we'll show it to you when we get it all done. Get it all out when we when we uh, get some out later. Okay. So she got it all mixed together. It's been chilling. So now it's kind of a, it's a little kind of solidy like. Mm -hmm. Just a dab. Just a dab. Just We're gonna do a taste test. I haven't had this in several years. Here, I'll hold it. You taste it. Okay. <laughs> I know I'm going to love it. Mm. Is it as good as it was? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good. I always thought it was whipped cream. I never knew it was sour cream. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. It passed the taste test. <laughs> I like it better. Like, I ate it like it. 10 or 12 o'clock at night on mm -hmm. Thanksgiving night or like we're playing games usually on Thanksgiving it's evening. It's so good. And then uh, or the next day like for breakfast mm -hmm. or something. And we got all the tables set all ready for Thanksgiving. Yep. And they're out there doing the turkey. So. Alright guys. Gotta give us a big thumbs up. It's very good. Check us out on Instagram and Facebook, Fruits and Bonnets with Kristen Christie. We'll see you next time. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving.